Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome back to the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. Today, I am out here on the homestead. Now, guys, today has been a very, very busy day. But first and foremost, before I get into this video right here, I just want to say all praises be to the Most High for just giving me the strength for getting up this morning, start me on my way, clothing me and keeping me in my right mind, giving me the strength to knock out the task at hand here on the homestead, guys. Now, as you all can see behind me, the trees are in full bloom. That right there let us know that spring is here, guys. And so, um, of course, you know, I got my little friend, Lola. Lola, come here, girl. My little friend, Lola, right here with us. Come here. Come here, Lolo. Come here. Sit. 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 Good girl. But yes, guys. And so this morning, I got up and I have been moving, moving, moving. And so what I'm going to get ready to do right now is to just take you all on down to the bottom where a lot of work has been going on. Just not only just down at the bottom, but also um, up top. But we're going to touch down here at the bottom first, then we're going to move on up top, guys. Okay, and so the first task that was at hand today, um, we pretty much went ahead and put the sheeps on out in pasture and also cleaning up uh, their area where they eat their hay, all right? And so, of course, putting the sheep out in pastures, guys, we had to go ahead and also um, put up our electric netting, okay? Now, what I'm actually going to be doing shortly is I'm going to be putting the sheep back on in side of that paddock now the reason for that is guys i don't want them sleeping out here on the grass uh, because what we have noticed with all the rains rain that we have been getting and just the humidity in the hair whoop, 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 and the humidity um in the hair guys uh the parasite load has been pretty high now this is their first time out in pasture so I'm going to take them back on in and in the morning I will bring them back on out here again so they can go ahead and graze whoop whoop come here sheep whoop 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 and guys like the words say the sheeps know the shepherd's voice just like with uh, Christ when he called his sheep, they hear and they will come. Whoop, whoop. Come here. Whoop, whoop. And here they come slowly moving on up. So this is pretty much what the task been at hand, putting up this electric netting right here. And so the reason for putting this electric netting, of course, as you all see, we don't have a fence put up in this area here. Um, it's one of those things, guys, we say, hey, um, would it be feasible to fence this area, um, you know, and have something permanent or just go ahead, use the electric fence and we can move it whenever um, we like. OK, so um, that is pretty much uh, what we did this morning down here at the bottom. And once this task was finished, we move on up top and. I'll take you on up there in just a moment. All right. right. Also, before I go on up to where I have the rest of goats and chicken, another task that was here at hand, guys, if you can see right here where I have some hay spread it all out on this, uh, in this area right here. Now, what this area was was just bare dirt. And so we came on in with the hay and all the, manure that we have cleaned from out of the goat pen or out of the sheep pen and sprinkle it right on in this area now 
the plan is to encourage this bare soil that was right here to go ahead and get some nutrients. And so that way the seeds that are inside of the hay can start germinating. So that way we won't have uh, a dirt patch right here in the yard. Now, when I say patch, I will give you all an example of what it is that I am talking about. Um, if you notice right in this area right here, that is the kind of patches that I'm talking about that it just won't do anything in this area. But it was worse than this. And over the years, with running the sheep, the sheep pooping, the manure, feeding the sheep in this area, we have been getting some improvement where grass is starting to grow. Um, so slowly but surely, um, but we're getting it done, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead now and move on up to the chicken where we have the chickens and also where we have some goats i'm telling you it has been a long day so guys. here i am on up where we have the goats and also the chicken now i'm going to show you um because i'm all about wanting to show you all the good the bad and the ugly now if you notice right in this area right here where it is just muddy guys um from where we walk the path on up to the garden. It's very muddy. Um, so I had to come on in and clean up my chicken coop because I am telling you, <sighs> I do not like to see my chicken area in a certain condition. Um, of course, you know, we have been getting quite a bit of rain here in Georgia. Uh, in Georgia. And so, hey, it's one of those things I have to just kind of you know, deal with it for the time being. Okay, so uh, we did came on in and also clean up the goat pen right here in this area. Okay, now if you notice, we have pallets down because this area gets so wet, guys. Um, one of the thing is we don't want our goats to be standing in water um, throughout the whole wet season, okay? Um, we can run into a bigger issue than just wet area. We can run into hoof rots with our goats and then we have to come on in and treat it. Now, right here in this area is where I have moved my chickens. Now, one of the thing is, guys, I have not forgot because, yes, I am coming in to do a video. If you look all the way back, back there, um, yes, we're supposed to be coming in to decide what we're going to be doing with that chicken coop back there. But for the meantime, in between time, uh, the chickens, they are running inside of this area right there where I had, where I have that old little goat uh, shelter. Those chickens, they have been using it for uh, roosting at night. And so um, what are the things that we did, like I showed you out there, um, how messy it was. And so what we did, we came on in and we went ahead and we scoop all that mess on up and we came on in with wood chips. Okay. So as y'all can see, the wood chips is scattered out in this area. And all I had to do was dump it out the wheelbarrow, leave it and the chickens did the rest. And so that's pretty much it guys. Um, so what we will do in the future, um, it's one of the things that I was doing inside of that chicken coop over there. It, uh, one of the, uh, what I was doing was scooping up all that hay that I would use for bedding inside of that chicken coop whenever I clean it out. And I will just pile it on up, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is make maybe like a box or something of that nature. So once time comes to change out this uh, wood chips, I will just pile it on up in that little box and let it go ahead and break down and we will move it on out to the garden once that time come, okay? So um, we're going to take another walk because yes, um, the stuff that was in this chicken coop, of course, we had to clean it out and move it um, in its proper location. And we're going to take a walk on up there. And also another thing, uh, the reason why we went with the wood chips is for uh, good drainage, okay? Um, it will help to absorb some of that water. Um, even over a period of time, we can still come back on in and add more wood chips on top 
of that right there, guys. And, you know, hey, it only goes to get better over a period of time. But homestead life is a busy life. Okay, so right here is where we have been getting our wood chips from. Being out here in the country, getting wood chips is very hard. Okay, if I was in the city, uh, it would not be a problem to get wood chips, guys. Um, of course, like I said, I want to go ahead and start filling my walk path inside of the garden. Um, but I'm going to do it with the rest of wood chips that I have until I get some more, okay? That's why I'm using uh, pine straw and different kind of shavings in the walkway, uh, just using what I have, okay? So um, a lot of that stuff also that we took from out of the goat pen, uh, this is where we are piling it. So this right here is just one big pile of goat manure mixed in with a little bit of chicken manure, guys. <clears throat> and We'll leave it right here, and once it breaks down, we will put it right back out into the garden, therefore utilizing this right here for fertilizer. Okay, so that is exactly what we are going to do. All right, and so, hey, that is what the day was pretty much consist of. Yes, life at the humble servant homestead, okay? And now, of course, tomorrow is another day. I am just thankful, like I said, to the Most High for giving me the strength, guys, to be able to come on out here and do it, okay? It is a lot of people that is paralyzed, that is just uh, crippled and not able to get up and, you know, do something that some people is <clears throat> have the strength to be able to do. And it's one of that thing is don't take life for granted, okay? Make the best of your time that you have, uh, not just getting out there and living your best life. Um, find a purpose. Uh, my purpose is, is Christ, okay? Seeking Christ with all my heart, mind, body, and soul. Um, and, you know, because at the end of the day, guys, um, hey, that is my purpose, and it's you know, just one of those things to be an example, you know, being a, being a example to others, um, just to come on out here and just to let you all know that, hey, homestead life is the way to go. OK, what you have to remember and what you have to know that before all this convenient stuff is we have all this convenient stuff now, back in the days, this is what our forefathers was doing they was out raising their own animals uh taking their sheep on out into fields and sitting out there with them for till they're full and ready to come on home you know they were shepherds you know over the flock and that is the same thing um you know with with christ guys he is he is my shepherd that is pretty much it right there for the day guys um like i said the garden is coming along. Uh, we're just working it, getting up and doing what it is that we can do. And so we can get it done. And so that way we can have a nice, successful garden, if it be the most I um, But nonetheless, that is pretty much it right there. Remember, y'all go ahead, share these videos, like, subscribe. And hey, you know, if these videos are helping you, send them to someone that they may help as well. But I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. Have a blessed day. Now look at that beauty, guys. The sun is setting and that is time for me to go and go before the Most High and, and pray, you know. But nonetheless, have a blessed day. We will catch you all in the next one.